Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, we're going to be playing 2.6 Hog with a little twist. As you can see, we threw the mirror in the deck, just kind of abusing the fact that it can make everything level 16 after the recent buff. And this guy's going to be playing Ice Bow, I'm pretty sure. I actually know this guy because I faced him about a year ago, and I made a TikTok on it. Like, right first when I started posting on TikTok. And I think I beat this guy, like, I clapped him really hard. And I posted it, and it just got like a few million views out of nowhere. So that's like how I remember when this, when this guy plays. I don't actually like even think I've faced him since then. Um, but looks like it's gonna be a different variant of Expo. I don't want to cycle my Musketeer in the back because he probably has Rocket, so it would just pretty much give him free value. And he has a Rocket Mine push, so um, he might have like some weird Expo Mirror deck to be honest, because. I wouldn't be surprised, I've actually faced like Expo Mirror a few times because a lot of people have been like abusing like the the mirror for the spell cycle in the deck. So I'm kind of scared that is what it's going to be. Since, and yep, as I'm saying that, he's going to rocket mirror our tower. The funny thing is I can't really punish him because he has Tesla in hand. So we have to like try to maybe do something with the, the mirror hog. Um, if he has tornado, then, then this is like gonna be impossible. So right now I'm just praying that he like threw the mirror in instead of tornado, because if that's the case, then I can actually have a chance of breaking through with my hog if he like outcycle his Tesla or something. So let's see what he places. All right, nice. Looks like he won't have a NATO, so we do get one hit off with the level 16 hog, which is I think over 500 damage, since you have the regular hog damage plus 20% or 21 percent and he does not use the ability probably wouldn't have like gotten it down in time anyways so yeah at least now that we know he doesn't have tornado we just like keep stacking stuff in the back wait if he is he gonna mirror rocket my tower i swear if he does that he might actually kind of be screwed dude wait what is he doing i actually don't know if he can defend this because i can fireball his tesla and he doesn't have a tornado to pull my hogs to his tower so uh, buddy, hello, what are you doing? Alright, so we just let his tower go to two hog riders because he was kind of greedy for damage there. I just went 13 elixir on my tower when I had like two hogs on the map. So, yeah, I think he's gonna give up now to be honest. Yeah, that's actually ridiculous. Those hogs did like so much damage, just like absolutely obliterated his whole tower. And yeah, I think he's gonna end up giving up now. So GG to this guy, this guy once again. I think the last time I faced him was like one year ago, around this time. And yep, three hogs and his king. That's gonna be a good game. See you all in the next match. So we're gonna be facing RA Rodan here. And probably start off with a hog first play, since you pretty much wanna do that with any type of hog cycle deck. And tornado. So not the best, since I will make it a lot more difficult for us on offense that he has his king activated so we're gonna have to try to work around that um still don't know what's gonna be maybe like e-giant or golem or something okay pekka maybe the anaban deck actually since like based on the cards he's played so far it's probably like pekka balloon or something and i'm gonna pre-cycle cannon in middle see what he does it's actually hog opposite so we can't like spam stuff behind his Pekka really because I assume he like wanted to defend the hog and he could have placed with skeletons like one millisecond later since I kind of wanted the tower to hit on them um wait that actually didn't mean to word it like that but never mind I'm gonna go cannon up high just to pull his balloon and while wow, musketeer survives so it's actually gonna work out really well for us on defense and musk lives like one hp so I'm gonna go hog He's probably low on elixir right now, to be honest. So let's see what he does to defend. Alright, freeze, that's fine. I think we can probably just mirror hog right now. Wait, is he back to tornado? He might actually be back to NATO, so I'm gonna go skellies as well. Oh yeah, that was probably a bad hog then. I kind of forgot that he had tornado for a second there. But we do get like a couple skeleton hits anyways. So not like the worst case scenario. It's almost double elixir, so we can't really be punished even if he's up uh, an elixir or two. So yeah, he's gonna go Pekka and back. We were down about three elixir. 
so not the end of the world. Try to cycle the two musketeers in this defense since I don't think he should have a big spell in this type of deck. So pre-cycling cannon. If he goes blue and opposite, I can like still get back to another cannon. So it's fine. Um okay, Brave Dragon's gonna die. I'm gonna go with the second musketeer. He probably tornadoes everything in. Which is gonna be a little bit annoying, so I have to fireball everything and then go ice golem up high. Um, okay, balloon. Yeah, it's gonna be a little sketchy on defense, but I think we can probably just like cannon down low, get our king activated. And as long as the balloon doesn't die, you should go to my king tower after he kills the cannon. Alright, nice. So that's actually gonna help us a lot on defense now. Since having King Tower up against any balloon deck is like makes it really hard for them to break through. So let's go Ice Golem. This might be a little bit hard to defend though. Like, we don't have another Musketeer in cycle. Uh, oh no, the Lumberjack is actually going to go for my tower. That's really annoying. So he's pretty much going to even out the damage. But I think we, we can still win now because we're going the same lane. So I can just like stack Musketeer in the back. And then eventually went off like a spell cycle. So I go log and trying to get back to another musketeer for this defense. And we can go skeleton low just so we can cycle back. We can go hog actually up high so we can tank for the big dragon a bit. And he actually tornadoed on offense so he's not going to be able to like spend anything. He's not going to have a tornado in cycle for defense. So he doesn't have anything in cycle for my hog. And that's going to tower down. Level 16 hogs getting so much damage on his right side. I'm gonna BM a bit. Alright, so we found a game against Guizmo from Solo Army. Uh, don't have our hog in starting hand, so I have to try to cycle to it ASAP. And hope he doesn't do any crazy starting play that I'm not able to punish. So, Rare Matter at Bridge. Probably like Rare Matter Mega Knight. Pretty much the only deck you see it in. I guess like Bridge Bam is still a thing. With Rare Matter, but I only see Wero running that. He's like the best bridge fan player in the game. But other than that, it's not like too popular of a deck in the meta. So yeah, definitely gonna be Mega Knight here. Uh, I get a nice Ice Golem kite with that Ghost. I'm gonna go Skellies. Then Log as well. Just to make sure the Queen dies. Uh, I have to Musketeer this. Hopefully the Bandit won't dash on my tower since like... Oh, that actually end up working out pretty well. So nice musketeer placement. We still might be down some elixir, but I'm fine with that. He's gonna run on our bridge again. I'm not sure why, because it's just gonna be a free positive to trade for us. Who he goes lightning? I'm gonna go hog. And wow, that actually is gonna snare my hog, which is a little bit annoying. But I still think he's gonna be pretty low, so we definitely get two or three hog hits here. Nice, three hog hits. Yeah, I don't know why like he wait, can we like possibly Hit that back. Okay, yeah, nice. So we have to band it, and we still get, like, probably two hog hits from this level 16 hog. Yeah, so we get to tower down to 900 HP. Gonna ice go and kite. Oh, no, we actually missed the ghost. I don't know how that... That didn't get kited by my ice golem. So that ends up getting, like, two hits on my tower, but... Not too big of a deal if we can still defend for, like, the next minute. Now we just, like, mirror fireball two times with log. And it will probably do enough damage to take his tower. So I'm actually going to cannon up high. Since I know he's going to try to lightning it or something. So I just want to be sure that. Or he would have lightninged it if I placed it. In range of my weaker tower. So I just want to like set it up high in advance. So I'm going to go hog right now. He actually might go mega knight top. So probably not the best hog. But anyways just set up for the defense now. Don't really want a musketeer if I don't have to, just since it's gonna give him a free opportunity to lightning. Okay, now I will place it since he already uses lightning. Just go hog up high. Just like pull its magnate back since I didn't have an ice golem in cycle. Uh, this is gonna be a little hard to defend though. Oh, my musketeer is on his. is targeted on his rare matter, which is nice. So it's gonna die. Don't have to worry about that. You go hog. Just to ensure the bandit didn't dash on my tower. And he's gonna Mega Knight. Wait, what is he doing? Um, I thought the hog gonna hit, so. I was gonna mirror fireball anyways, but he's gonna do enough damage from one. And yeah, I don't even know what the matchup is. It's probably like in our favor, but you just have a lot of spam and the lightning's kind of annoying. Okay, so our next opponent is Invader from 
Invader YT. So, okay, what if this guy like snipe me and just wanted the the shout out? But yeah, go subscribe to Invader YT if you want to. I don't know what he posts. Probably Lava Loon gameplay. But that's what he's gonna be uh, using based on the Mega Minion Skelly Drags. Pretty much nothing else runs like those two cards except Lava Hound. And yeah, he's gonna go Lava and back. Don't know my Hogan Cycle, so we can't really punish. So probably just like stack two Musketeers. Don't know if I'm gonna just mirror it or try to cycle back to another one. Okay, he goes Balloon. I actually have to Cannon first, probably. In fact, it's probably better if we like go two Cannons instead of two Musketeers anyways. Since we had our King activated. Uh, he's gonna Zap to kill us. So I'm gonna go Hog since I feel like he's low on Elixir after that. Won't have enough to play barbs or anything. And then we can just ice golem late for those lava pups. Yeah, those were not good skelly drags either since I can just fireball. And we take his tower with the left hog, so I'm gonna throw a little bit of BM. Since he kind of played that really badly. Or I guess you could say like we had a good defense with the two cannon cycle. Or just the mirror cannon. Which allowed us to activate king tower. And there's pretty much no way he wins now. We just have to defend for... Maybe like two more lava pushes. So yeah, it's gonna go musketeer and back. I think this defense I will probably mirror the musketeer. Just since we're almost in double elixir. So it's like it's not too risky. And I I don't wanna like cycle them too close to each other. Just so he doesn't get a really good fireball off. Yeah, he can't hit both of the fireball. So he goes skelly. It's gonna cycle us back to our fireball if we need it, but I actually don't think we even need to play it. Since the musketeer was locked on the balloon. So he's gonna die anyways. Like I'm actually tempted just to like fireball predict his barbs. But I don't know if he's gonna play them. Uh, okay rip. Didn't get that predict off. Uh, so he's probably gonna lava back now. So we have to like defend one more time. And we should have the game in the bag. He's gonna go musketeer in the back once again. Making sure to separate them. So he can't get a really good fireball off. So let's go hog now. And trying to cannon to pull his balloon. Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. That that cannon would usually pull his balloon, but I'm pretty sure the lava hound pushed it like to the side a little bit, so the cannon was not able to pull the balloon. But it's not gonna matter since he doesn't have enough time to take our tower. So pretty clean match. I think with like us ha having the ability to mirror the musketeer, and he only has like one fireball, so we can't kill like everything with it. Then it makes it pretty easy to defend. Hopping into the last game of the video against Flunder from the clan Good Vibes, so yeah, don't expect a single emo out of this guy if he ends up getting clapped because his clan is called Good Vibes. And it looks like we're gonna be facing some sort of mortar deck. Probably like a good matchup for Hog, I would think. Like I'm not really a 2.6 player, so I'm not sure of all the matchups. But I usually see Oyasu beat uh, Mortar. But I don't know exactly what variant this is going to be. He's going to cycle Candy Carton back. So I have to be careful because he might like spam us with Minion Horde. Since we use our Fireball. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Uh, not sure why he's playing a Hog though. Like usually Mortar decks don't run Hog. They'll have like a Miner or something. Instead. But I still think it's better for me than he has, that he has Hog. Because I have a Cannon for it. Which is a pretty easy counter. And then I'm also not going to have to worry about him. Uh, trying to go minor or anything for that extra chip damage Since if you had minor hog that'd be kind of ridiculous And I'm gonna take the damage there from the goblins and, and then just go mirror hog Since he only has spear goblins in cycle He didn't have like goblin gang or minion horde or anything And has the fireball too So it's kind of overspent and we still get one hit for about 500-ish damage I'm actually not quite sure exactly how much the level 16 hog does but as I said has to be close to that. And nothing too crazy happening so far. Don't know if it's better to go same lane in this matchup or not. I think it probably is just because he doesn't have a minor. But yeah, I think I'm actually gonna go in because he Oh, he's gonna mortar. Let's go hog like maybe trying to tank one mortar shot. Never mind, he's gonna lock in my tower, but we still get like two hogs on the map. And I don't really see how he defends this. Right now, like out of mortar or a fireball and cycle. 
and he might have just rage quit. I don't even know. So it goes Hog, let's go Ken down low. He will fireball the cannon, so I'm just gonna fireball on defense. Just make sure the hog doesn't get any damage. I'm not gonna play anything else because yeah, I wanted to save my mirror fireball for spinning horde. Not the best placement. We kind of whip some of the goblins and the minions, but he doesn't have like enough time really to get that much damage on our tower to secure the win. So let's just manage to pull his cannon. I'm gonna pull his hog far away with my cannon. Just to ensure like nothing sketchy happens on defense. And yeah, he has nothing to do now except spam the laughing emo in despair. And exactly what I said, like he's still gonna spam emotes even though his clan name is called Good Vibes. So I think this dude needs to like leave his clan. He's gonna be salty whenever he loses. But all jokes, I probably would be salty too if I got like two level 16 hogs in my tower. Or one level 16, one level 14. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Peace out.